Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Nikki Nicole, and if you don't know who I am, I am mainly a full-time mom. I'm a toddler and I have a teen. Um, it's very interesting. I was scrolling on my Facebook page. I know a lot of us older, 30 and over, we still have our Facebook page. And I seen a post and it said something about grieving of lost relationships. And that's like very interesting topic because usually we hear grieving when we talking about the loss of a loved one. But sometimes we have those same effects when we're dealing with relationships that are no longer valid in our life or no longer serve us. And no one ever talks about all the emotions and everything that you go through when you're ending a relationship, um, a long time friendship, or just cutting off ties with a family member. Like, no one talks about that. I don't remember growing up and hearing about that. But um, there are grieving grieving processes that you go through. You, It still feels exactly the same. Um, I recently dealt with this and I had to just cut off a friendship that no longer served me and everybody always saying like you hear this word thrown thrown around it's called toxic everyone always used that word toxic and everybody just say just cut this person off just cut this person off I'm like sometimes you need to evaluate yourself but sometimes you do need to cut people off I mean there are people in your life that you do need to cut off but it's not just like so easy that everybody, like everyone says, and you cut them off and the next day you just feel better. I'm like, um, no, that is not exactly how it works. I mean, you cut them off and you go through these stages and then you start questioning yourself and you're wondering like, did I do the right thing? And then you just start missing that person. Sometimes you do allow those relationships back that are so-called quote unquote toxic and you um you just want their company because you start to feel that loneliness but that's not always like a good thing to do so you do have to go through that you do go through the stages where you're missing a person and you know you have to now and you just want that relationship back because it's comforting and it's what you know but it's not always good so it just like really hit home when I read that because I'm just like why are we talking about that why are we talking about um grieving from friendships like from relationships that no longer serve us I'm like this should be a thing and this is something that definitely need to be talked about because I'm like okay the person is toxic you cut them off then and then it's like you wake up um, the next day and, you know, you just start having these feelings like everything is not okay right away. So everyone always uses that term like you just cut them off and this and that. But no one talk about the repercussions and everything that you have to go through and all the self-healing that you have to go through from all that trauma of, uh, first of all, accepting something that you shouldn't have never accepted. But then it's like after you let me go because like that's what you know. And you know you have to go through the steps of just going on that self journey and just like finding yourself and being true to yourself and doing exactly what you need. Many times when we hold on to those relationships that are like that, it's because um we just we just don't know what to do for ourselves. I mean, we don't have those self caring skill. We're putting somebody or something else ahead of us and our needs. So that's usually why we hold on to those relationships and it's familiar. Everybody likes what they're familiar, but everything that's familiar is like so not good for you. And so and then you just have to move on from there and just go through them journey. It's like a it's very very important to go in your feelings you need to feel things you can't feel anything without moving on so you have to go through that and it's something that's definitely not easy but you have to put yourself out there and you have to start making new memories with different people people who care about you like why would you want to hold on to people in your life who don't respect you um, who don't care about your feelings and put you last I mean I remember in my situation like I was always last or maybe like 
their backup person, maybe somebody else didn't come through for them, then they're like, oh, you know, I can, let me call her. Um, she's not busy. She's not doing anything. She can come through. And I'm also that emotional support person for people I notice. And I'm fine with that. But people that's emotional support people, we need emotional support. And sometimes because we're so calm and we're so giving and loving, so you attract the opposite. And that's going to happen regardless when you have that personality. So you have to learn how to set those boundaries. And you have to put yourself first, prioritize yourself first. You have to prioritize yourself first. And that's the only way you're going to get through that. And you have to weed out those relationships. Like cut them off from the beginning. And that's the best way to move forward and to just simply love yourself. Hey, so I said I was going to make some chicken noodle soup today because I was starting to feel a little bit under the weather. So got my ingredients all ready to go. Chopped up some carrots right here. Have some Goya and I put the chicken breast in there. Got to have the bone in for some extra flavor. Cut up some peppers and I have some onions in there. And I made sure to like use some pepper. I know that's really good too. And I put in some chicken broth. And I filled that up. Add a few quarts of that. And I brought it to a boil. Add in some little egg noodles to my mixture. And let that boil in. And I like a lot of seasoning in mine. So I made sure I put a lot of seasoning in there. I like to taste the flavor. When I'm eating my soup, I mean, of course, not too much, but, you know, you want to really taste the seasoning. And I let that boil. Then I let it simmer for a while. Got my little tea mixture going on. Some honey. I like to put some organic honey and soothe your throat. And I love to get lemon ginger tea. Got probiotics in it, too. So it kind of soothes your tummy. And I put some vitamin C in my just to like catch it, it slows down the process. And this is it. This is my soup right here. Some chicken noodle soup for you guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.